What are the pros and cons of living in the middle of nowhere? What's happening? NJRoot22.com here with another quick general interest vlog about what it's like to live in the middle of nowhere, or the sticks as they say. Now, much of my life, most of my life, we lived in either the suburban world where you're like 20 feet away from the neighbor, sort of like uh, Tim Taylor from uh, Home Improvement, where you have your neighbors over a fence there, or we lived in a city-like environment where <clears throat> you had people running into your apartment like Kramer from Seinfeld. Are there any things we miss about our previous living arrangements, and what do we really appreciate about our current way of life? Well, one thing that is different is human contact. Now, you might think in 2021, that is a good idea, wink, wink, but maybe it is, maybe it isn't. In my old digs, I would walk my dog and I would see people I know every single time I went out. But at the same time, you'll find a bunch of people you don't really want to see at all, including the bums and other undesirables. Additionally, everything was in reach. We had stuff that was open 24 hours. Everything was in walking distance. You could go out for a drink and walk home. There was no need to drive a car. Now, while that may seem like you save a lot of money, but it's not really true, you still wanted a car when you wanted to get out of that uh, rat uh, race there. And then you also had to pay for parking garages, extra insurance, and damage for the pretty much regular vandalism. And another thing that comes uh, along with city living is that life is actually a little simpler, even though maybe more complicated in the mix of things there. You usually had a smaller place to live, which usually means less stuff. But then, of course, people outgrow their places and either want to have a family or want more room for their stuff. Now, while you would think that paying rent is cheaper than having a mortgage and other big expenses, what you pay for when you rent, you get nothing in return. And a lot of people say that renting over a 30-year period is actually um, cheaper than having a house and a mortgage and all this other stuff. We're not 100% sure about that. And don't forget the higher taxes in big city metropolises. Back to what we were saying about having no human contact, that's actually a good thing when you live out in the sticks. There's far fewer like annoyances of people bothering you. And life is definitely a lot more peaceful. But you have different kind of uh, dangers and hazards, such as wildlife, more frequent power outages, and like falling tree branches and other things. And of course, you might go a little stir crazy living out in the middle of nowhere. One of the benefits though, however, you automatically become a planner. You have, you, since you have to go to the store for everything and you might get trapped by blizzards and other things, you tend to become a more of a planner. That includes stocking up on food, multiple refrigerators, paper supplies, and all sorts of other things. Oh, and another good thing is since we can get our packages shipped here like anywhere else in the world, we have zero package theft. And as we were saying before, the tiny space is gone. Now we have a lot of space, but the problem with having a lot of space is that you tend to use it to the max, no matter what. You could have a 3,000 square foot house, a 5,000 square foot house, a 10,000 square foot house. Most people fill it up with junk. You definitely become more complacent and less organized. And of course, there's always the argument about property taxes. Uh, property taxes are definitely lower out in the sticks. However, it makes you wonder, where is all this money going? We pay for our own uh, water. We pay for our own uh, garbage pickup. What am I paying for? Just a couple roads and some cops? It, it seems a lot. Even the fire department is volunteer. In the end, it depends on your preferences and the time, uh, the stage you are in life. In our case, we were getting sick of city living. It's getting too much, especially in 2021. It was definitely a combination of many reasons. One of the reasons is, I guess, technology and all this social media and narcissism that's going around. We found that everybody was so self-interested. Seeing them in mass and at such a high density just was too much. And naturally, if you're planning to have kids, where you raise them and what kind of neighbors they have and what kind of school systems they have plays a huge role in where you live. But in the end, I think having less noise overall, like sirens, police cars, helicopters, air traffic, all this other stuff, 
We liked the Peace and Quiet a lot better. It was a little bit hard to get used to in the beginning, but now it is just something that we cannot live without. And lastly, what's been going on in the past year makes you wonder about what would happen if things went south. I think we, you're in a better position when you have a little fortified uh, little compound rather than living amongst 8 million other crazies. So that's it. If you liked the video, please hit the bell and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Is it this side or this side? I don't know. Take it easy.